consider the Gaussian distribution rho of x equals a e to the minus lambda times x minus a square where a big a small a and lambda are constants so first we have to to find a we have to find the constant a and then we have to find the expectation value of x so that's one two we have to find the expectation value of x expectation value of x square expectation value of yeah sorry I mean the Sigma the what it's called the standard deviation and finally three we have to sketch We have to sketch the, the 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 density, the probability density, rho of x. So let's get started. First, we have to find a. We find a by normalizing this function here. So you normalize by taking the integral. Let's see where is that. taking the integral from negative infinity to infinity over all space of the, of the function which is a e to the minus lambda x minus a square and you set it equal to 1 that's how you normalize you integrate over all space and set it equal to 1 so to make things easier, let u be x minus a, therefore du is the same thing as dx, and the limits of u are the same as the limits of x from negative infinity to infinity. Alright, so making this substitution, we have the integral from negative infinity to infinity of a times e to the minus lambda u square. This du is dx here. This equals to 1. Doing the integration, we get a times the square root of pi over lambda equals 1 therefore a we call this the normalization constant is equal to the square root of lambda divided by pi part 2 we have to find the expectation value of x in order to do this you have to integrate a you have to integrate from negative infinity to infinity x e to the minus lambda x minus a square dx using our u substitution we have a which is let's keep it a the integral from negative infinity to infinity of x which is u plus a right e to the minus lambda u square du 
this integral is relatively easy it's two integrals right there's the u integral here and there's the a integral the first one is zero and the second one is a times small a times the square root of pi divided by lambda but a is the opposite of that is the inverse of that so this integral is equal to a which is the expectation value of x all right now we have to find the expectation value of x square this is very very important integral it's going to show up over and over this one we're doing right now the integral from negative infinity to infinity of x squared e to the minus minus lambda times x minus a square dx so let's do our u substitution we know x this here is x plus a, a I mean u plus a right that's x so if we square that we can have three integrals right the first one is the u square u square e to the minus lambda u square du plus the cross integrals which is 2a times the integral from negative infinity to infinity of u e to the minus lambda u square du and then finally the last piece which is a square the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the minus lambda u square du doing the integration and plugging the limits we have a times this first piece here we get 1 divided by 2 lambda times the square root of pi divided by lambda the second integral is this piece here we know this is a zero because it's a, it's an odd integral so that's plus zero anytime you have a gaussian here u square with with a single u here this summation goes to zero the summation is always zero plus a square square root of pi divided by lambda and simplifying we have a square plus one divided by two lambda this is the expectation value of x square the standard deviation the sigma we know sigma square sigma square is the expectation value of x square we just found this one minus the square of the expectation value of x so plugging these numbers in we have a square minus 1 divided by 2 lambda we just found this one minus a square and that equals to 1 divided by 2 lambda but that is sigma square so sigma standard deviation is just 1 divided by square root of 2 lambda and lambda can be any constant so now if we want to sketch this is part 3 so sketching this let's sketch this is the x-axis this is the probability density 
row of X. A Gaussian, it looks something like this. It's a bad drawing. Let's erase this. Gaussian looks something like that. Here we go. And this is A here. As you see, the expectation value of X, we found it to be A, which is which makes sense. It's this midpoint here. And there you have it.